hello hello welcome to a new vlog it is cyber monday the day after the monday after thanksgiving um and we have i've made mistakes we have so many things to do <laughs> if you don't know me my name is cc i am an illustrator and artist based in new york city i draw a lot of cute things i also do a lot of knitting um knitting is not part of my job i just like to knit uh <laughs> And this is going to be kind of a knitting vlog, kind of an art vlog, okay? Okay, it's kind of going to be a little weird mishmash of stuff, but hopefully it'll be fun. Um, yeah, so I have so many things to do, all right? Okay, let's break it down. First, I have to finish my January print. Um, I finished the December one already. I need to do the January one so I can order both prints and um, not have to worry for the rest of the month about making stuff <laughs> um i have to make a washi tape for a collaboration this is due on december 1st so we're really cutting it close guys all right um yeah and i have to do all of my end of end of month patreon stuff so that's writing the monthly update uh doing the sketchbook flip through and making the goodie bag reveal um did i make the december stamp yet I don't think so, so I probably have to do that. Um, I have to pack all of the Black Friday orders. A huge, huge thank you to anyone who supported the Black Friday sale. Um, the sale will be over by the time this video comes out, but uh, the clearance stuff will still be on clearance. So um, yeah, you can still check it out. Uh, a lot of the stuff on clearance is 50 to 60% off um, because I'm really, really, really trying to clear out inventory. You can't see it because it's blocked by my whiteboard but it's there all right we're trying to clear out inventory from the older patreon stuff from like 2021 and 2022 uh because it's just it's taking up a lot of space um the stuff that doesn't sell i'm probably gonna have to recycle because there's just there's just too much <laughs> stuff and i don't want it um yeah so uh and then we actually have to do the knitting, right? Um, yeah, so I am um, doing, I am making a sweater for my little brother. I, I can show you the yarn. It's, this is the yarn that I bought. It is Cascade Yarns Superwash Fingering Yarn. Um, I am going to be making a cute little um, fossil dinosaur sweater i found the pattern online i'm gonna here i'll pop up the pattern here so you can see what it looks like uh the goal for today okay is to cast on that's it that that's all we're gonna do we're gonna cast on today and then we're gonna pack orders and then we're gonna paint and hopefully we can get most of the like art stuff out of the way today um so that we can spend the rest of the week knitting i also started making this pair of socks and it looks really cute right it's like lavender socks look how cute um it's too small <laughs> i i am still working um on my color work tension in uh with socks because you have to knit really loosely for socks um obviously because you gotta fit this bit over your heel and um i messed up my tension's a little bit too tight and this happens a lot my tension's a little bit too tight and normally i would just like suck it up and like squish it over my foot you know but this is a gift and i don't want to make other people kind of have to squeeze their foot into a sock you know so i'm gonna have to unravel the whole thing so today actually the first thing we're gonna do is frog this I'm so sad. Um, I'm going to frog this. Okay. I'm going to cast on the sweater. Then we're going to pack orders. Then we're going to work on the January print. And that's probably going to be the whole day. I also need to plan. I haven't planned. I haven't touched my planner in like two weeks. Yeah. So we're going to plan. Sorry. This intro is so all over the place. Um, yeah. I'm a little frazzled. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I took most of last week off to like kind of rest after the convention. Um, and I'm still tired, I think. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's get started. Let's, 
I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> this looks dumb, but I made a little swatch. Um, this is this is not what a, a swatch is supposed to be four inches by four inches, okay? But I am lazy, and um, well, it's not that I'm lazy. It's just it takes a long time when it's fingering weight yarn, and this yarn is so thin. Uh, yeah. So I made the length. This is a little bit over four inches, actually. If you take a peek it's a little bit over four inches but the height is correct i did 10 rows um the swatch said 32 by 40 should make a four by four square um so i did 10 rows so that that should in theory be one inch and it is exactly one inch which is perfect um i don't really care if my sweater's a little bit wide because it's for my little brother who is a toddler and he is growing so if it stretches it's not a big deal um, I just wanted to make sure that the like general ish gauge was correct because um, I don't know what thickness this needle is this is us2 uh, needles um, and the pattern calls for us2 so it actually works out pretty much perfect that's that's good um, I am just gonna go ahead and cast on now uh, because this seems good enough <laughs> this looks so dumb um, but yeah I'm gonna cast on and then um, probably do a couple rows and then I really got to do like actual work things um, I'm kind of stressy but it's fine <laughs> Hello, hello. It is 6.40 p.m. I have been packing since noon. I have just... Ooh. I have just one order left. Why does it say two? Someone made an order. Okay, well, I have, I have two orders left, not just one order left. But, um... 
Let me show you the chaos that is my desk. I didn't film any packing because um, I honestly just really wanted to get all of this done. And um, filming obviously makes everything a little bit slower. Uh, and also, if you want to watch me pack stuff, you can watch my latest packing vlog where I packed all of the calendars. It's a nice, chunky packing vlog. So you want that nice, cozy packing footage? You should watch that video. Um, but yeah, this is the aftermath of everything. Uh, yeah, I have... <laughs> labels here um i had to pull out my clay stuff to grab um magnets and pins and stuff to 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 glue onto the clay goodies um stickers you know just mess everywhere my trash bag <laughs> uh yeah it's just a little bit chaotic i was so optimistic thinking that i could finish this and a painting today I was so optimistic. <laughs> seven, hour, seven hours ago, I was so optimistic that I could do so many more things today and I am exhausted. I have forgotten to eat any food. I have had a bowl of grapes and two pieces of chocolate and half a cookie all day. So I'm a little bit shaky. I'm gonna go and eat some food and pack this one order. There is one more order that I haven't packed yet because they ordered five of my um, Sending You Sunshine Lino greeting cards and I only have three. So I need, I think three or two. I only have, I don't have enough. So I need to make some. So I'm gonna print them tonight and then pack that order tomorrow, bring everything to the post office. And then I guess tomorrow we'll work on the print. I'm kind of sad because there's a cat print sale, which is the um, manufacturer that I use for my prints. There's a cat print sale today. And I was hoping that I could take advantage of that sale to order my December and January prints. But I might pass away if I try to work too much more today so i'm gonna just finish the goodie bag reveal i've done most of it i just need to make the stamp which will take me like maybe 10 minutes <laughs> maybe 20 minutes um so i need to finish that today because i need to post that today and maybe i'll like write my monthly update and stuff um because that'll be kind of um head empty for me i won't have to really think that much and then maybe tomorrow we'll work on the print oh i'm so frustrated it's fine i also i did work on the knitting a little bit i um which is what this video is about <laughs> i worked on the knitting a little bit while i was waiting for stickers to cut okay it doesn't look like much i'm just gonna crouch <laughs> it doesn't look like much this is this is the outside um, but we've done the ribbing, which was a knit through back loop and purl one uh, ribbing. And then um, we have switched over to stocking net. Um, the pattern says to switch knitting needle sizes, but I don't have a larger knitting needle, like one size up. I only have like three sizes up, so it's not going to work. So I'm just not going to, it's fine. It'll be fine. It's our, my gauge is already a little bit wide, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so we've done the increases for the stocking net, and then the la the next thing to do is German short rows to shape. Is that right? Yeah, to shape the 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 sweater. I really hate doing German short rows. This is so uncomfortable. I hate doing German short rows, so that's where I gave up on working on this today. But I might do some more later tonight, and we'll see tomorrow if I update you on whether or not I've done those short rows. Also, um, this pattern called for using the German twisted cast on method for casting on. I've never used it before. I usually just do a long tail cast on. I tried to learn how to do this other cast on once that was like a ribbing cast on and I hated it. It was not fun. So I just like used the long tail cast on and it was fine. But this one wasn't that bad. Um, I used a very handy uh, video so I'll link that if you want to see a, a tutorial for that because I, I just learned like uh, today. <laughs> so I'll link that. All right, I'm gonna go clean up a little bit, get food. No, 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 no. I'm gonna pack that order and then I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna eat food and then I'm gonna cry and it's gonna be fine. <laughs>
Tuesday. Um, I have been procrastinating. <laughs> um, I packed up another two orders. The one order that I didn't pack from last night. Um, I made those cards and I packed it. And I packed another order that came in last night. Very late. So, yeah. And then I've been working on my knitting. I did the short rows um, last night. I didn't film it, but I did the short rows. And there were only like six short rows or something. It was really, it was really easy. Um, I don't know why I was so hesitant to do them and now I've been doing the raglans which are basically just um, when you get to the marker you make one right slip marker knit one make one left and then keep going and then the second round is just all knits um, so you're alternating between um, adding stitches and knit rounds does that make sense? Yeah, so I, I've been just kind of slowly chugging away at making this. I've been knitting this instead of working on my January print, but I really need to work on the January print, so I'm going to do that now. Um, yeah, I am also having m slight regrets <laughs> for deciding to make a sweater out of fingering weight yarn. This is a small sweater. It's for a little five-year-old, four-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old. It's for a child. <laughs> so it's like not that much fabric that I need to make but it is also still a lot and this yarn um this cascade superwash fingering merino wool yarn this yarn here you go now you can see what the yarn is this yarn it splits a little bit and whenever I'm making um whenever I'm doing make one left or make one right the yarn tends to split which is kind of annoying but it's fine we'll get through it <laughs> um but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna work on my drawing now and then we'll see how much farther I can get with the sweater today because I do have um, I do have my ceramics class later. So yeah. Hello. I think it's done. It is 6:06 p.m. So I have just enough time to eat food and then get to my service class but I finished the print oh my god it's not perfect okay there's a lot of things that I'm not sure I love about it but I think it's good enough and honestly painting this was such a struggle because my motivation level is just not there so done is better than perfect just a little reminder to me and to you so yeah I'm happy I'm happy with it I am going to format this order my two prints for December and January, and then I will have everything done for Patreon until the end of January, which is absolutely thrilling. Yes. Okay. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. I didn't film at all yesterday because um, I spent most of the day working on the washi tape that I am uh, doing with uh, as a collaboration, so I couldn't show it to you guys. Um, and uh, that was pretty much it. I also, what else did I do? I wrote one, um, I wrote a Patreon post. Yeah. Um, and then I worked on knitting this sweater. I'm really, I was really hoping I would be done with the raglan increases by today, but I am not. I have about 20 more rows to go. So yeah. Um, that's, what we're doing today today i have i have nothing i have um i have therapy in like seven minutes but other than that i um have cleared out my day so all we're gonna do is knit and try our best to get as much of this done as we can i'm, I'm hoping we get to the color work today um we should get to the color work today with no problem because um i just have 20 more rows to go with the increases and then I have to separate separate out the sleeves and then um, it's the color work. So um, we should get to the color work without any problem. Um, this piece has grown a lot. Uh, I am, I am definitely regretting <laughs> making a fingering weight yarn sweater. I think it's gonna be really cute. I think it's gonna look really good, but um, I'm trying to make a sweater um, out of fingering weight yarn um, in a week is gonna be the death of me. So yeah. Yep, that's that's my update. I'm just gonna merrily knit until we get to the color work, and then I'll probably check in again. Um, 
yeah apart from that do i have any updates not really um i went to the dentist yesterday <laughs> and then i thought about how weird it is to like be a dentist because you're just looking at people's mouths and mouths are really weird <laughs> yeah and then also tomorrow i have um Tomorrow I'm going to the Society of Illustrators to get my booth set up for um, the market I'm doing this weekend. I have no plan. I have not thought at all about what my booth is going to look like, but I'm going to worry about that tomorrow. Today is a uh, knitting day. Yeah, um, I've been feeling really tired. Um, I think that after Anime NYC, the con, I still haven't like fully recovered in energy because doing things is taking so much like everything is so hard <laughs> um so i'm trying that's that's also why i'm trying to take today kind of slow and just do my knitting and not much else um because i really need to have my spirits and my energy back up next week um because we are going to be working on um the december patreon stuff and we're also going to be working on sticker sheets because i want to make sticker sheets for the next shop update next year no more shop updates this year no worries guys um but i want to work on some sticker sheets for next year and um i'm hoping that i will be able to do them before i leave for christmas so yeah need need my energy back up so today we are gonna just chill we're gonna knit and watch videos and do pretty much nothing else. <laughs> Hello, hello. It is Sunday. Um, so I didn't film anything on Saturday because I had a market. Um, I was part of the Society of Illustrators holiday craft fair yesterday. So I only managed to do a couple rows of knitting in the morning before I left. Um, and honestly, I could have brought my knitting because it was a pretty slow day. Um, yeah. Uh, I could have brought my knitting, except that I, like, need the pattern <laughs> because of the color work. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you my progress. This is, uh, the 
the I, this is I am on row I finished row 40 of this knitting project and um, there are a total of 55 color work rows so we're getting there um, I thought I could finish this in a week but I'm kind of starting to think it's not gonna happen um, I'm I'm gonna I think I can finish the body today but I don't think I can finish the sleeves today but I might do um, two sleeves at a time you know um, if my knitting needles are long enough I can probably do that yeah it's just it's been it's been a really fun project i've been really enjoying seeing the uh, patterns uh grow i really love um this dragon this dragon this dinosaur here and this one is almost fully complete down here and that's been really fun this one is like a stegosaurus right i really like these so i'm excited to see this one fully complete um yeah it's been it's been fun i've been watching a lot of youtube while doing this i also keep losing my friggin um stitch markers because <laughs> i have these like really cute i have these really cute nitpicks stitch, mark stitch markers that are um like little and metal these ones i think they're really cute they just slip right off the needles <laughs> i keep losing them i don't know where they are i find them like a couple days later it's fine it's fine uh yeah but that's that's the progress so far um i thought i could talk a little bit about the craft fair um yeah so the craft fair yesterday was at the society of illustrators um museum of illustration it's at 128 east 63rd street in manhattan it was their first ever holiday craft fair um it was a challenging day Okay, so on Friday, I went and set up my booth, um, my table, my booth. I set up my table um, Friday evening because uh, we could go early, and that was really nice, actually. So you weren't, like, stressed and pressured to kind of set everything up within an hour um, the day of. So I went and I set everything up on Friday night. Um, my table was in the, what they called the lower level table number seven. I was in the basement. <laughs> um, so the, the craft fair was set up on three different floors in the museum. It was basically basement level, ground floor, and then, um, like the third floor or something, uh, you had to go up two flights of stairs to get up to the, the, the upper level. Um, and yeah, it was, I mean, it was like fine. Uh, the foot traffic was pretty slow. I think partially because it was just, it was a first time market. So I wasn't really expecting a ton. Um, and then once I saw my table location, I was also kind of like, eh, because it's on the, the basement floor, there's no elevator. So you have to be able to like walk down the stairs um, this is a big thing that I think New York has an issue with in general. I think New York is like really bad about, um, being disability friendly. Uh, a lot of the subway stations are not even like, like accessible. And I think that's crazy. That's wrong. Um, I think New York in general is trying to fix it, but I did notice that there wasn't like, there wasn't an elevator for the museum. And I thought that that was pretty trash i think they should fix that uh yeah so it was on the basement level of my table was in the basement level of um the museum and it was in the corner um like in the far corner from the stairs next to the restroom so it was really convenient that it was next to the restroom for me personally but um the spot had no service because we were in the basement in the far corner. I don't know what the museum is made out of, like, like architecturally, but uh, something was blocking the uh, phone signals, which was really annoying, um, and the Wi-Fi was really spotty. So we got onto the Society of Illustrators Wi-Fi, and it kept dipping in and out all day, so it made credit card transactions really kind of stressful because you had, like, no idea whether or not it was going to be able to go through or not. I ended up having to go up the stairs to complain multiple times about the um, the Wi-Fi situation, and my table neighbor also had to. We kind of, like, alternated so we wouldn't, like, so it wasn't always just the same person complaining, <laughs> you know? Um, and they ended up having to set up, like, an extra... Uh, extender router situation they had like a they had to set up a, another internet source 
with a different password um, for us to be on so that our Wi-Fi could be like kind of stable. So that was kind of stressful. It was also stressful because, um, you know, like I so I do my tra- my credit card transactions on my phone, right, with the Square app, and uh, every every time the Wi-Fi would dip out, my phone was trying to search for the Wi-Fi, and that killed a ton of battery. My phone battery can usually last two days without a problem, um, so I don't really, I know this is risky, I don't t- typically bring like a, a charger or anything with me because my phone battery lasts so long, um, and my phone was like, like I barely got, um, I was barely able to like call for a lift home <laughs> because my, my battery was dying so badly um over like a eight hour day which is which is not normal for my phone um yeah so that was pretty stressful uh apart from that like it was it was fine the foot traffic was pretty slow it kind of came in waves because i think that the uh, society of illustrators had like timed tickets so it would come in waves of like kind of slow but steady ish sales for like 30 minutes and then it would be quiet like dead quiet for like another 30 minutes and then repeat um but I did think that because the tickets were uh because it was a ticketed event like you had to pay to get in I do think that people made the effort to like look at everybody's booths um instead of like you know um a a free market where people will just kind of look and then leave (laughs) Like, people want to get their money's worth, you know, because they paid to get in. Um, So I thought that that was nice. Uh, Yeah, overall, do I think I would do this market again? I'm not totally sure. Um, It was their first time. I thought that they didn't really do a great job with marketing the market uh, because I I noticed the Society of Illustrators Instagram, they had um, made little, like, spotlights of of some artists but they didn't do it for everybody um so they didn't have one for me but they had one for my friend which is like kind of I don't know makes you feel some type of way you know (laughs) so I I I didn't really like that I thought that they could have done the marketing better um they uh were having I think they were having trouble selling tickets to the event um, it is also kind of out of the way. Uh, it is unfortunate because like, so the area that the museum is in, it has two train lines. It has the F and the Q train line. This is like a very New Yorker thing. It has the F and the Q train line, but the F isn't running properly, uh, because they're doing construction on the subways. So basically there's only like one train line that you can take to get there. And so it like, I think that that makes it that it like adds a level of like inconvenience for people who want to come. Um, and it makes that like activation energy required to get there just a little bit higher. Um, and I think that does dissuade people from coming, uh, in my opinion, because like personally for me, if it's a weekend, uh, thing and I like, am thinking about going somewhere, if I can't get there really easily, I like probably won't go, you know? So yeah, that's another, uh, thing that I noticed. Um, but yeah, overall it was fine. Like I wasn't, all I needed to do was make back the cost of the table, which was $80. Very, very cheap, um, table. Uh, all I had to do was make back the cost of that and the two lift rides, uh, 50-ish dollars each way, uh, uh, to get home, you know? Um, so, I made that so it wasn't really a problem once I like made past that it was fine it did feel kind of um uh kind of disheartening I guess when I realized how slow the market was gonna be but like when I saw my table location I was kind of like it's gonna be slow (laughs) you know so it's fine um yeah that's my little spiel about the holiday craft fair I do have another market that will be the day after this video goes up um in Astoria we're doing the final market of the year with Queen's Craft Brigade my favorite market uh in the area we love Astoria we love the folks who live in Astoria Astorians is that what you call yourselves I don't know I I I love Astoria um yeah so if you want to come say hi uh Queen's Craft Brigade is free to come and it is pet friendly so if you want to bring your dog I would be absolutely thrilled um yeah, I will have I will have prints, stickers, etc. I'm also planning on making earrings, so uh, hopefully that will be there. I'm filming this 
or I'm recording this voiceover before I make the earring, so <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, but there will be there will be stuff, and there will be a lot of really cool vendors, so you should come and say hi, and yeah, I'm going to let you get back to knitting, Cece, some cozy knitting footage. Uh, we're trying really hard to finish this this little sweater. Um, oh, and also, I forgot to mention, but the shop will be closing um, on the... I haven't decided. Hold on. <laughs> oh. The shop will be closing... The shop will be closing on the 14th of December. All right? Because... I'm going for a very nice long vacation <laughs> um, for Christmas. So I would like to get all of the orders out before I leave. I think that makes the most sense. Um, yeah, so the shop will be closing on the 14th of December. So if you would like to uh, place an order, there is a ton of stuff on clearance still. Please go and check that out. Um, get your last minute orders in. I cannot guarantee they will come before Christmas because USPS is working their hardest around this season. So yeah, um, that's that's my spiel. All right, let's let's get back to knitting. <laughs> color work is done. Oh my god. Okay, so the color work is done. I just did the last row, row fifty five. Now all I have to do is knit a little bit more to make it like a normal sweater length you know, and then make the hem and then make the sleeves. I'm not going to finish today, but I feel we're in the home stretch, baby. We're going to do it. Um, I'm going to try to at least finish the body today and probably start the sleeves today. Hello, hello. So it is the end of this little knitting vlog. Um, I was really hoping that I was going to be able to finish <laughs> the sweater before I filming this outro but unfortunately I forgot how long sleeves take all right um so I do want to update you on my little uh sweater progress my knitting project progress all right so it's a little bit hard to show because I I am knitting the sleeves two at a time <laughs> sorry oh my god the panic all right but um, we did finish the body part of the sweater. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is the back. Um, the hem is rolling up, but that's fine. We're going to block it out, so it's not a big issue. Um, this is the back, and then this is the front with the sleeves attached uh, to one pair of knitting needles. It's kind of hard to show you, but... I think it looks really good. I really love the color work. Um, I will say this pattern is not for a one week project. <laughs> um, it is it is a complicated pattern and it does, because the yarn is so thin, it takes a long time to build up a lot of fabric, right? We talked about this. Um, but I am having a lot of fun making it. I did have a lot of fun making the color work. I really love I, I am someone who like tends to get bored while doing the same stitch over and over so that's why I like doing cable projects a lot um, but color work kind of satisfies that same itch of like not wanting to be bored while working on a project so I really enjoy uh, doing the color work and seeing the little fossils show up I thought was really fun and cool I don't know how someone comes up with like this type of color work project like I get I get the idea of having like a big pixel canvas and then drawing in all the things, but it's like, it's so complicated. <laughs> My brain, I'm sure I could do it if I, if I thought about it really hard, but that's a lot of effort. <laughs> Thinking is hard. All right. Um, yeah. So the current part of the project I'm on is the sleeves, which is all I need to finish. Um, I just need to finish making... The sleeve length, I am knitting two at a time, so that's helping it go by a little faster. It's helping avoid the second second sleeve, second sock syndrome, you know, where you, like, make one sleeve and then you're like, oh, I still have to make the second one. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be making this a full, full uh, sleeve sweater, like a long sleeve sweater. Um, just because, like, it's wool, so it doesn't really make sense to make it short sleeve. Because who wears short sleeve wool in the summer? 
<laughs> you know, like it makes more sense for it to be to be a long sleeve shirt or sweater. So I need to make um I'm gonna make the sleeves about maybe two inches longer than the hemline of the of the body. I feel like that seems kind of accurate. Two inches plus one inch of ribbing for the what's it called for the hem. So we're we're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. I've done about half. So, yeah. Uh, that's kind of it. Um, thank you for hanging out with me during this little knitting vlog. Let me know if you like this type of, of vlog project. Um, like, where I am working on a knitting project or a crochet project. And I just show you, like, the knitting, like, the crafting part. Um, I didn't do a lot of, like, art footage because I figured this was a knitting vlog. It makes more sense to just show you the knitting stuff. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you liked this type of video. Um, and then I can work on making more. Or if you really hated it, also let me know <laughs> so I won't make any more knitting vlogs. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I gotta go do therapy. Um... Thank you for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. I will see you next week with a cozy little New York City winter vlog uh, with a lot of art this time. So yeah, see you soon. Bye friends.